best thing ever. They had three observer wards around this mid lane. One of them actually saw the smoke from OG. That's why they all backed up. And now they're repositioning themselves looking for a fight. And they got rid of the observer ward that OG had down. It was a oh, one for one awesome. trade off. They're looking to come in. The Rock, they're holding it for now. The call down is already very early out. So is the Wukong command. And it's just going to split the fight up. And LG don't care. They rotate around the side. The Rock doesn't stun up anywhere near enough heroes. As Chalice Blademail runs towards Thompson. He just cannot fight this. He knows it. Three heroes gone for OG, and they may actually have a fourth one. Somnus yields into the Light Strike Array. Nowhere for no town to run to. And our may. I don't know if this is the second or the third time, but another triple kill in a team fight for him. And this looks like probably tier 2 tower, and maybe they want to go Roche, we'll see. So here's the opening, yeah. All these spells from OG just whip. The, the Wukong's command, they nicely circle around it. LGD find the first jump, and they force the defensive swap as the opening too, so Jerex is in a horrible position for that fight, and now Ana yep. went for the bounty rune, got hunted down by the Wraith King and Io. So. He tried to TP out as quick as he possibly could, almost playing like an Monkey King's BKB, but I'm concerned it's going to be too late to even become a part of the game. It yeah. really is the item that they need, because the problem for Ana is he can't really use his Echo Saber, right? He uses his ulti, but he can't He can't go in. He just can't go in in the oh, fight. He, they he's found just going to die. Homing missiles chasing him down. Newell Scepter actually going to cancel off the stun they were looking for, but it won't matter when Somnus has so much to follow up with. They drop the rock, and here comes Anna in for a Wukong command. He'll need to get a good line stun, but it just doesn't work. They already know what he bounced out of his ulti as quickly as he put it down. Actually quicker. Three euros from OG lost. Jurax will join him. And LGD are on the rampage. A the magical mark. Magical mark. One KGPM lead is generally an indication that you have won the game. This is mm -hmm. very, 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 like, these are the biggest kind of leads that we generally see beyond the 1k GPM mark. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a team lose. OG's trying to hold on to it. Warlock, so much damage onto Nerds. Hell, Laguna from Somnus will get the kill, and they're looking for a little bit more. The stun will connect onto the Weaver, a swap away. He needs time to time lapse. Actually, no, he'll just run back into base. Thompson can come back to the world of the living, but how much has he really got? He's not even level 15. He doesn't even have that second arcane bolt available or the seal, and they realize it. They call it GG. The nukage doesn't work. The cores don't work. And LGD have an answer to absolutely every hit, everything OG were throwing at them. Yeah. It looked like, uh, it looked relatively competitive when OG got that good team fight top. They were 4k behind, they pulled it back to about 1 uh, with a good chasing sequence. Now they have no issue about doing that. And again, they look towards Roshan. He is up. This is Aegis and Cheese. So, critical one for OG to claim if they want to ensure the next team fight belongs to them. So they go into the pit. But LGD are very aware of what's going on. Is that Observer what they have on the Radiant Hillside? They shouldn't have it for long. Yeah, now they, now they see it, but the jump comes in. It's on to Silence, and the Scythe will kill him off. No tell has buyback available, and he pops the Global Silence while Jarakub's already popped the BKB. Seb can't complete his TP out. Anna wants to try and buy a little bit of space. He can at least kill off FY, then goes into being the Wraith King as Morphling. More buybacks coming in from OG, and they're looking for it. They've got the trap onto Arme. The Sprout is down the waveform forward. Gyrocopter is down. Chalice jumps in. Still with the reincarnation of Valvolus. Thompson who's the one who's been locked down. Somnus, the call snap is onto him, so Thompson get a little bit more space and battle against Chalice. Tornado doesn't catch Somnus as well, but they can isolate the Wraith King. The reincarnation will pop once more as Nortel and Anna, they chase down Somnus, and Chalice can just blink away, but Prophet TP's over. They're waiting for the Fissure for the right time. He's silenced up. Here comes the Fissure. Oh. Pushes him out of the Sprout. That was not the right time, but a kill is a kill. They still claim him. Wraith King down for 50 seconds without any buyback, OG can claim Roshan. That was Tyrion has his. The Invoker does not have his. OG yep. are actually just... Everyone's a little short, but they're only short. Yeah. They're, they're only short by about 700, 800 gold. So if they can get something out of that fight, Chalice the Prophet TPing in. They get the Lincoln Sphere trigger off. They want to kill off Chalice as quick as they possibly can. So then they can kill him off again. Alacrity puff ups. In they come onto the Morphling. He hits like an absolute truck. About 400. And the stun from Jirax could not have timed it any better. The Scythe will be in the back line, but it's on the Silencer. He can just buy back, get the Global Silence off, allowing Seb to beat the crap out of Lion. Not so much, however. 30 HP X Nova will survive, and the rest of OG have TP'd away. Without their Morphling available, they just cannot take this fight anymore. LGD are doing a really good job at catching Morphling out. He didn't get BKB with all of the bursts that they have, and They're we're going to see mid. the replay here. That Morphling, way. he waveforms away. Actually, we might have to go back to live here. LGD, BKB pop from Gyrocopter. Yeah, actually, yeah, in, in our live world, they're pushing in onto the mid-racks. Not too much happening here. 
Yep, so for now. here we are, back into the line, back, jack, jump into the back lines, onto Somnus, Seth doing the work, G-Rex gets the stun, the follow-up, they kill off the Reaper before he can actually get the scythe off, before he get anything off, and Aya will probably join him, the Sun Strikes run the money, FY will pop, and then so many heroes down for LGD, a quick mag, extra life, fight me if you dare, globally throws it out, LGD, three heroes down, and it seems like an eternity, their death timers. GG push. They do have that time, but they don't know that LGD have no buybacks available. They didn't know that the Gyrocopter picked up the Satanic before the fight began. They didn't know about the money. And there's your first buyback. Necro, able to get back to the world of the living. It's not enough. Yeah, it really isn't. This is going to be a full set of racks as Mega Creeps up. They come in for the fight. The Global Silence is out. Raid King can't really pop much more. That BKB works against him as the Silence is layers on top. Chalice now isolated. Anna will turn into him. So they're literally hitting themselves. Anna finishes off the racks and then they can look towards the next target. You can side in the meantime. It's over on the ES. Buyback is in from the Raid King. Megas are up and running, but the jump forward. Anna right on top of X Nova. Say goodbye to your line, but he'll come straight back again thanks to his buyback. But Chalice isolated. He still doesn't have reincarnation. Back up again, and this really is the game. There's no way LGD can try and defend this. Even with the Scythe onto the Morphling, he could potentially just buy him back and come into the fight. That's exactly what's going to happen. Armay turns on the flag cannon, but he's getting stunned up so much. Echo Slam from GRX. They're looking for as much control as they possibly can, but the relocate pulls him back into safety. LGD, they're holding the line, but up against a swarm of OG. Somnus jumps forward again. He does not have that Reaper Scythe available. And they're looking for more. Tornado will not be able to connect. Have to buy a little bit more time. Thomas will burn his own BKB. Sees Thompson is low. Armay flat cannons off cooldown in five seconds time as LGD. Seb, I found the line. It's Somnus over on the edge. Fissure to hold him there. Sunstrike to finish the job. And then they go up for more after the IO. After the man who's keeping Armay up with his flat cannon damage. It's pretty decent, but not decent enough. There's just not enough follow up. The AoE death thing blasts. The GRX coming in for dunk. And LGD. There really is no more joy to be had here. GG, well played. OG will get a draw in their game against LG. I think they're feeling pretty good about that. I really, I really like this draft from OG. Like the the screaming yeah, less. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's kind of cool, but um, not a lot of circumstances where that ends up being better. And as right. you have the high ground here, they will pop IG smoke though. SRF immediately backs off when it pops. It kind of reveals where Mineski are and. Yeah, Mishu's they don't want to go and leave it. They, I think they found a formula that worked very well when they initiated on Medusa. They've lost silence, so he gets stunned. He doesn't get a chance to global. They are still trying to bring down XXS, but this time he got the stone gaze off. And as a result, Maneski forced to back off, and they may not want to take this fight anymore. Blink Echo catches out just one, but it's an important one. It's the Lena. Use your minus. Minus. <laughs> Only second line. He'll see it this time, yeah, for he's sure. He's got range for you. Oh, let's try oh he oh. won't get to. He got. Minus. Minus. No. No. Value. What a travesty. I'm disappointed. Um, so, a couple things there, like, uh, Mineski's basically grouped on high ground, and they were... It's, it's amazing how different the game feels if you've had control that whole time, and then all of a sudden you, like, lose map yeah. control. It's, it's like when you stop buying wards because you're trying to build an item, and then all of a sudden your map's dark, the game just changes so much. Yep. You go to ward, and your opponents have a ward there already, so they see your ward and can immediately be warded. Exactly. Can they catch the Dark Willow here? They're going for the Echo. Yeah, they want this kill badly, and... Unfortunately, Dark Willow will get off the Shadow Realm and that may help her get back Oh, this is a good fight. Yeah, they bring down SRF to start things off. The Wukong's command locks down two in the back lines. They don't burn enough of the Medusa's mana, who is going to be kept alive now. Finally gets the Stone Gaze off, but they've already lost Aggressive as well. Morana's dead. Wraith King goes down, but that's the reincarnation. Coming back to life as Ice Ice Ice. They want to maybe go on XXS. The Evasion from the Butterfly doing a little bit, but something up with the Bedlam. And Willow on a sliver of health goes in, gets some kills. Crystal Maiden trying to be the hero, but will not be it today. The Frostbite brings oh. down Monkey King, though. Ninja Boogie wants Baboka in the trees. Ninja Boogie, where's Run your health? Life, dude. There's a Fissure. <laughs> oh, I, I'm surprised he doesn't cancel that and go for the kill. Any yeah. other player, I feel. Bisky's going to lose. It does feel like some like limitations of silencer in these later game fights. It yeah. only really works if you're initiating, because that's when the global can be useful because your opponents need to counterplay you, but if you get jumped on, it doesn't really do much if there's a BKB Mirana or Legion who already used this. Spell. Manta dodges the stun though. <laughs> no ulti just yet for Monkey King. He's got it right now. He might cast it, but hasn't yet. It gets dueled now, and now it looks uh -oh. like he's gonna be right click down all the way from the blade mail, and that's his death. He buys back though. He'll have ulti this time, but they need to find an initiation somehow. He's being swapped in for Medusa, wants to get this off, maybe on the first life, will BKB as well, and XXS on the front line could just kill Ice Ice Icy, but here comes Wukong's command. 
back Not a big up fan. on the Medusa. That BKB full 10 second duration. And Ice 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 is going to go down here. He's dead without buyback. Moon barely survives on a sliver of health. Unfortunately for IG, that would have secured the game most likely. Instead, they're being repelled here as Morana is going to buy back. Maybe looking to come in and secure the Mega Creeps here. Willow's going to finish off a couple. As Japs gets a double kill, Medusa still alive. We'll get the Aegis popped and. Is Monkey King dead? This may just be game over here. IG are going for the killing blow. They're all buying back. Three buybacks have been used. They want to end Mineski. This is like such good man to use it. He dodges so many spells with this skill or with this item. He's doing a great job. But yeah, the, the Monkey King death was uh, pretty significant here. Um, I thought his ultimate was kind of weak, but luckily his team started losing. So then IG had to run back through it. But yeah, I don't know how they're going to stop this. They, they have to kill this full HP Medusa. She's got ultimate. She's got backup. BKB is ready on aggressive. They do have a sentry. They spot her out though, so maybe they can make a play. Oh, aggressive. that's once again. Gotta be it. He's fight after fight, just finding these initiations where he just jumps on top of Alina, BKBs, right clicks her down. Yeah, and that's uh, the issue with Alina. If you get initiated on, the hero is just really weak in a lot of cases, and things like Legion Duel are going to be more than enough to secure kills against you. But as a, as a whole, IG played really good this game. Like, really fantastic. Really interesting pick. But Blink plus uh, Shivas is always a really good item. Killed. Pop the Shivas, Blink, and everybody gets slowed instantly. It's nice. Yep. Gives you a big amount of pull, so you're definitely not worrying They're about it. They do have sentries, though. Sir. Thunder being considered. Ice 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 gonna throw out the wave here. As Moon gets gone on, he does not have a BKB. He may just be dead here. The Global Silence, they're following it up. He's gonna die here. They lose the Alchemist. Husker dies on the other side, though. Mineski still taking this fight. Reincarnation being popped in. They may just go for the second kill. SRF is just so squishy with this Radiance only build. And even though they lose the Alk, Mineski know they have the damage output from Mushi. He doesn't have a BKB, and the fact Alk got focused meant Mushi just does so much damage in that fight. Oh, disappointing. Oh he did get a tower last hit, though, so that's another point. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> It makes me feel better. All right, they're going high ground. Here it comes. Are they ready to defend this one? They still don't got the courier. They still don't have this axe. Huska doesn't have his AC. It just feels like they're lacking items. Yeah, there's a lot of dead weight in their, in their inventory. In this their 6k gold is really a bit more than that. They're going to get a perfect terrorize onto wow. the alchemist, and that stops him getting his BKB off. He's got the cheese being swapped in now, but it's too late for that. Wraith King in the front lines has reincarnation. He's going to die once here, but that doesn't necessarily mean Death, Doom, and Despair, although he's going to respawn into five heroes, including an arrow. That's the end of him. He melts. As the rest of IG uh, backing off, waiting for this Wraith King to buy back and perhaps give him his second life to the cause. He's got five seconds until his Axe Scepter's back, but he doesn't have five seconds to spare. He's going to get in there now. He's going to defend. They're going to lose to Tiny as well. Aggressive is down, and Moon, he's bought back. He TP back in with his BKB. He's going to kill off the Huska, who actually has to buy back right away. And with the Tomb down, this gets very difficult to defend top racks. Yep. He just heals through every death that happens, but the Ags is up on the Wraith King at least. But now that most of their heroes are dead, it feels wrong. Like, they don't have Global Silence, it's gonna be harder to initiate, they don't have Terrorize. Oh, JK, they have... Oh, it's Bedlam, sorry. No, no Terrorize though, 15 seconds, and instantly the Turax falls. This Dire Side just seems to really lack damage, as SRF is gonna go in with the Husker, they're gonna go in Jabs here just to support though, and already Wraith King, very, very low on health, does have Reincarnation already back up. The Bedlam on the yep. back lines, they get out, he's got no buyback. That could be devastating if they can get more out of this one. Ice 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 trying to buy them some time with the Rolling Thunder, wants to get for Boca Kill, but he can't quite do it, and Mushi's being chased down by the Life Break, and they it's know, just, they know. Oh, hits him with the fear. SRF should have a stun in a couple of seconds. The Wraith Fire Blast is going to go flying out. That's a gem, but more importantly, that's a fourth kill, and without not having buyback, they could just go straight down mid. He might be able to get here. He's got a leap blink. No, he jumped through the Ooh, Bramble. He can't blink, so. yep. Very close uh, for him to get out there. So they do end up defending. They do lose two racks, more or less. Range Barracks still alive, but... Um, Almost going to be alive. But even... Bad, you never want to buy back when there's like 10 seconds left on your respawn timer, but sometimes the, the damage that can be done in that 10 seconds is, you know, a full lane of racks. Some things down a bit. They try to catch the Pango. Tomb goes down. This is maybe a wrong tomb here. He's yeah. got to pump some heals to keep this alive, but surely it's going to fall. No, they're yeah, going to fight the, the Rolling Thunder. That'll keep alive even longer. SRF is trying to focus it down, but he does not have any attack speed. He's okay. asking his team, where are we guys? SRF dies once, does have that low cooldown, but they want to kill him a second time. No, they're going to go on the Husker and said they pull him in. No BKB coming out. He gets brought down, but there's the Axe. He's attacking play. fast. Oh yeah, he sure is, but... Life break for he chases Mushi back to the fountain. and that's going to make this fight a little bit easier. But Mineski have bought time for Alchemist to respawn. They're chasing, trying to find Mushi, actually leading his, uh, his enemies here. 
just a little too far ahead of aggressive, or maybe they're just saying, go push bottom, this is the way to win. There's a dead Huskar for 80 seconds. The way they did that was great. They threw an arrow, and then they swapped into it to guarantee that the Huskar got stunned instantly. He doesn't get BKB off, and he can't defend himself. It's a great way to take the team fight. Ooh, they've got him. Ooh, they've got dust. Nice, nice, nice. Deals him too. Knows, always carry detection, and Tiny dead without buyback. He just bought a hunt of Trask. Well, probably game, I guess, right? That... At least Rax. <laughs> That's, I mean... Like you say, kind of is game if it's racks because that is mega creeps, and you're not really looking at that lineup that has that carry that can fight against mega creeps very well. I mean, and that's the hero you want dead, anyways. Uh, those two heroes, the Huskar and the Tiny being down, is just. They like, can go throw and really. Who even makes use out of this egg except for on Wraith King now? Yep. It's kind of a lot of dead weight in this dark team. Just even the Tiny's build, it lacks damage. SMI yep. Heart going all in on the kind of health, survivability, and stats is. I feel like we've seen a lot more of this like data this tiny with the pure right click damage coming out and they just lack damage. They did the arrow swapping really effective here. Another dead hero buys back though. Find time at least, but Boca pops his BKB. Yeah. He's gonna do what he can, but the Manta style eating all the damage. Oh, he's, he's still, still alive. alive. Thanks to the the Wraith form. Wraith Speaking King's Wraith. axe, he's gonna die once and yep, there goes Dark Willow's down. As Wraith arrow. King will die once. He'll come back for a little bit longer as well. There's another Wraith. Oh, number three. There we go. Maybe get a jab skill, this would be a nice pickup at least. And he will crap him, yeah. yeah. Some style points, some fantasy points as well. The 1v5, here it comes. <laughs> Alright, dead. Uh, he's only got a deal two now. Oh nope, he's uh, he's just walked away, it's over. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll all over indeed. Uh, give me that points, Moon. That's all I gotta say. I am i can't say I'm upset. Um, I, I, it, Man, the game looks so good for I...
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Boys, we're in the pit, and now Liquid, with that pressure put down there, can they get to the pit in time? I don't know if they can, they're teeping over to the shrine. Can GH make the jump? He's got this blink, he's got to go straight away. Pops the smokes, they won't see it there with that new tree. Look at the jump, they, they get there in time, they got the horn. So now Fnatic being forced out of the pit, Envy does have the BKB, GH pops the slam, but he's been stunned up by the homing missile. GH tries to duke himself back in towards the pit, but he'll fall, Envy gets the kill on the Shaker. And towards the high ground, Pilot Eye being chased down by Matuma Man, as Fnatic have lost two. Arbed going back towards the pit, the buyback coming out from Pilai Dai. Roshan incredibly low. They don't have detection here, Liquid, so they're just trying to go for it. They don't know that Arbed is here. Arbed staying hidden now will reveal himself to get the kill, but Matumba Man snatches the Aegis. Arbed did not pick it up. So Arbed will go down, jump forward from Universe. He does have the black hole, but doesn't want to commit for it, as it's only him and DJ that decrepify the control from Kuroki holding Universe down. Universe, he will fall as well as the blast is there from Mind Control. And despite Arbed's best attempt there to pull off a... a Where's the ping gonna come out from Pilai Dai? And now Liquid's ready to go in the pit. They've got Haunt ready, and look at look at where Lyrical... Uh, where Lyrical look where Miracle's positioned himself, just completely in the front line, still. But yeah, for you, how do you find the Black Hole? It's gonna be so hard. They are fairly grouped up though now. Get himself a city, he doesn't. They'll get it, they'll jump in now! Does manage to get the two-man Black Hole there, and with that control, they'll be able to burst down Miracle. Miracle does not have buyback. He has... It's, it's still on cooldown for a minute and 40 seconds, so short Liquid, they got the Roshan. Matuma Man was able to get the Aegis Cheese and Refresher, but they're, they're actually... Oh, DJ, the GH gets the slam, he's able to kill one, but he's going to lose his life for that. I mean, the, now they're two heroes dead, 100 seconds. They may have got the Rosh, but Liquid... 
they, they're two people down for 100. They do not have buyback. They're going to run to no, the base, Fnatic though. could just go. Yeah, they're going to run to the base, though, here. The tier 4 is down to 100. So Mind Control is going to try for the split. Yeah, Mind Control is going to try to split it off here. The, but the Matumba has Boots of Travels as well. But this is very concerning here. Envy, he's just running in. He is. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They're just going for the tier 4s. But to my man, looking oh, towards Arbet. Arbet has to take a lot of Arbet's Arbet. dead. Oh my god. Yeah, Envy is in trouble as well. He's been degrepified. Life drain. He'll turn towards to my man. TJ getting focused down by the spider. They've got the degrepify. Oh. The burst damage in. Okay. Alright. All right. This is what. Well, Matumba man's still pretty scary even on, then on his own. Throwing just a couple spells. Alright. So, uh, yeah, another next. Envy? Oh, so. Very low. I mean, the Rax is falling. Radiant Courier dies. Radiant they even they have the pop glyph. They do. They. They have got the, the black hole available. The universe find a, an option to get in. The, the Rack's pretty much dead here. As Miracle, he'll look to go forward. They do have the, the tree toss onto Miracle. He's going to get stunned up as well. Universe going in with the PKB. Takes a bit of damage there from the blade mail of Miracle, but it's not enough to kill him off. Universe actually ticking out for the radius though, but to my man moves it. Buyback straight away from Universe. Arbet's gonna fall as well though, and he does not have buyback. The buyback play from Miracle to get straight back into the fight as Fnatic is getting forced all the way back to the fountain. The four buybacks coming out from Fnatic. Can they hold though? They're without the black hole. I know that there's no more horn. Available for Miracle, but it's Megas, GH. they're still so strong here, Liquid, as they head straight away with the Fissure onto Pilotai. GH with the double slam slam, getting them all. Universe will come in with the Black Hole onto three, but it's not enough. Fnatic hit the deck, GG is called, and Liquid at 50 minutes and 30 seconds will take the first game here on this stream at the International 2018 stages. What a swing, what a turnaround. Behind this Huskar with the new Evans Albert. Radiant are scanning. Radiant, Radiant scan. Right on the high ground there. They know that Liquid's up. No, know it all, Fnatic. Great read to the map. From lane high. high. Found out here by the way of Terra On the side though. Fear. A fear indeed pushing the two of them back. They're ready to commit as Arbet pops the BKB. Looks towards Matuma Man. Matuma Man will keep the distance. But Miracle, he's in trouble. The Curse Crown kicks in. He'll get surrounded. He does have to repel him back up as he looks to try and man up onto Arbet. But the damage is not there. He'll jump himself across to Envy. But Envy still alive. Keeping himself fine with the time lapse. They've lost four on Liquid. And they're going to lose more. They chase down there onto Mind Control. As he heads towards the Ancients. Ask them to take him. But there's no chance. As the damage is too high from Universe, grabbing the triple kill. A team wipe 29 to 1 now. He's fine. DJ's back. Doesn't, of course, TP all the way back. He's at the tier 2, so he's still ready to join the fight if it kicks off. Try, maybe they try for the Roche. This, they have very little options that they can actually do. It's either take a fight, try to win it, or, I mean, I mean sure Roche, they, they, they need Aegis and Cheese, but this is... Yeah. This is going to be really hard to take. Fnatic has ways to get vision in the pit easily with the bugs. Ah, uh, Universe is just draining. Giving the vision, looking for the chance to open up. He does get turned upon, and okay. with the magic immunity, they'll be able to take him down once. On the side, Envy poking and prodding at GH. So that's going to be DJ finishing off Kuroki. Envy ready to go back in as the buyback's coming out, but there's no buyback from Miracle. He's dead for 50 seconds. DJ being chased down by Matuma Man, but Matuma Man at the same time having to be careful as Envy on the chase. Bam! Yeah, he's dead. DJ with the snipe gets the pick off. And that will be Roshan falling into the hands of Fnatic. GH, he should fall as well. The Curse Crown holding him down. DJ dancing around him, picking up a triple kill. It just doesn't stop for this point. 9-0-13 on the will of this game. In the past. It's true. Who's the only one with... It's, it's Abed's the only one with the death, right? Yeah, it's just Abed. Oh, Abed. Well, he had a good run. Mir Miracle? Well, still a lot of damage coming through. We'll be okay for now. Oh, the bait! Envy. Okay. okay. It's got the Aegis. It's back from round two. The heal. Keeping Miracle alive here very nicely. Mind control. They'll turn. They've got the Shadow Shaman wards down. Universe. He'll get popped once. The Reincarnate on the side. The Fear trying to push back Liquid. Liquid still yet to lose anyone. The Winter's Curse might do something about that, though, as it does hold Matumba Man in place. No, Matumba. He's fine. Sorry, Mind Control's held. Mind Control's out. Universe jumps in with a Ray 5 Blast. Envy into the midst of it all, but there's the jump forward Miracle, but there's a Cold Embrace safe from Pilot. Eye, keeping Envy safe. Now the cleanup happens as Liquid lose four. Willow there with the chase down. They'll tap out. It's enough. 38 to 1. Third, we'll add them up. 39 to 1. 39. DJ, I mean, when you, when you just wow. see that moment right there, DJ just blinks in and hexes you. You're like, wait. 
Willow has a hex and a blink and a vessel, and he's oh level 20. Oh my goodness. Look at this. The, the Willow is like the, the same level as the, as the core heroes. Wow. Pressure, play around the DP ultimate, and the Necrobook coming out from uh, the Prophet soon. Necrobook always a, a good item to pressure a Rave King okay, mid lane. Uh, Rave King's gonna pop that blade mail, but that's gonna be his first life forfeited. Anybody porting in to help him out? Looks like that won't be the case here. Silent Fissure is gonna be there as well. And that is gonna be a wasted Rave King ultimate. Heine comes in a little bit too late. Oh, Might be no. in a little bit of trouble himself. Winter's Curse being set up here. Whoa, freezing field. Or sorry, Frost Nova's gonna pick up the one kill. And then the Winter's Curse setting up another as well. Ninja Boogie taking a ton of damage here from Silent, but the heal from Wyvern. That Fissure pretty good though. Isolating, Crystal Maiden away, but Crystal Maiden actually picks up the kill on the other end. And Avatos back into jabs, and Nongrata is going to go down. So it seems like all these chaotic fight really helping out Mineski, and Bloodseeker wasn't even in any of that. He died earlier. Yeah. What he did was just gave vision for the CM to force by the... Pretty good against the Rave King, before Rave King has level 20, so he's always going to be susceptible to that mana burn and <laughs> rendering his ultimate useless. But I mentioned this before, if you're really worried about that, you could just get a Soul Ring. Sure. A smoke here, they're gonna pop the smoke. Sentry. Uh, dead hero. Freezing field's gonna be there. Oh, Prophet completed that TP. I don't think he wants to be in here. Maybe he wants no. to. Here's the backup. Okay, well, now Crystal Maiden in a little bit of trouble. Crystal Maiden, though, pretty tanky. Mushi comes back in, and here comes the Bloodseeker. It is gonna be a big run now. Look at how fast Moon is running. Gonna go in the bottom lane. That is a Shaker being surrounded from all sides. No respect to that Echo Slam. Now everyone's gonna pour back out. It's gonna be a defense up on top. They're gonna catch the Death Prophet as well. Yep. All over the map, Maneski dominating. Good setup, Wyvern building Agalim. Oh, like Refresher. Oh, look at him. Jab just flying in on the left side. <laughs> He can fly back out if he wants. He turns it off. Fun. Fly, 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 Jabs. Meanwhile, back in the mid lane here, it's going to be another Hex Moon in quite a bit of trouble here without his Wyvern friend. Meanwhile, I heard a curse going on the back line here. Ice, 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 getting the crit, getting the kill. They want the shake. Shaker just walking away. This is turning into a very meme game at the TI stage. Nice defense of Yule, dodging quite a bit of stuns here, but no running away from here with this Blink Dagger disabled by the Radiance. And, uh... Okay, great. He's gonna buy his heart. <laughs> Second heart on Ice Ice Ice. I mean, he has to go. <laughs> oh, he even eats a cheese? Okay, this game. I mean, they know the game's over, you know? Yeah, they, they, yeah. They, they... <laughs> uh, they're not calling GG because it's TI, but you know, the game is. Yeah, there, there's a GG. Maneski, uh, a dominant victory, but not clean. Dominant, but not clean. But not clean, true. They had the drafting advantage, and on, honestly, you could probably make a case that Mineski is probably the better team. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, but Mineski fan constantly see these siege units sticking onto the enemy. <laughs> and they are trying desperately to get a kill on Storm. Storm has to be controlled. How? Well, I mean, like you said, the one stun leads to, uh, leads to another. Instead, they'll find Ninja Boogie. Yes, buyback. He will buy back, and he is gonna come fight right into the shrine. Nice pop of He gets all three. Oh my God! This clockwork biting time for his teammate. Meanwhile, on the back line here, looks like Gyrocopter has gone down. Ravage still available. Will pop it, only finding the support. Oh, looks like it got the uh, Windrunner in the back line the as well. The supports are the only heroes left. <laughs> well, Iceberg is there as well. Iceberg trying to get the kill. Still very, very tanky. Shadow Blade in a couple of seconds. And Storm keeping Buy his items. distance. Buy items, he's dead. Uh, Buy uh, items, spend gold. Okay, he? Never mind. No, he lost he 300 gold from that. Like they have to somehow... Okay, take a fight when they have double B at least the double BKBs on Gyro and Tiny. Who do you try to kill first? <laughs> the CM at the edge. Oh no, oh, there's a BKB. Toss him right into the edge. Maybe a big Clockwork Hook to come in. Always want to fly running in as well, but Jab's healing right back up. They're stunning the Tide, but Tide just doesn't care. Meanwhile, on the back line, it's going to be Moon jumping in. Swaps back out, always want to fly very low, but he wants more on Iceberg. Nice dodge away on the Avalanche. He still has the Aegis of Mortal. He will get Shackle, Ice 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 on the low ground. No Ravage just yet. Oh, and it's going to be the Storm Show. Everybody's going to die. In just a second, Storm zipping to the right. That's one kill. Storm still has half a mana pool. Zips. To the left side, that's gonna be a secondary kill. 
Oh, like you said, they have the BKB, but uh... <laughs> the only way they could have played the top lane was to have uh, Terra, Wave of Terra, and the Flag Cannon. It was so important for them to have Wave of Terra plus the Flag. So you push out the wave and you get level two first, and you pull, push and pull, and then you try to play the lane from there. But because that never happened, they lost. Top lane was like nine one. <laughs> It was so bad that they, lo that they lost lane so badly. Okay, Silent. Hammering the damage. Tiny on the backline with that BKB as well. Iceberg. Ravage coming out here from Tide Hunter. A lot of core still BKB'd up, but it's Moon. Just jumping in and out on teamfight. And Mineski will force a GG out. As Moon trying to collect more Bloodstone Charge. He might even actually die here. But uh, the game is over. And Mineski. We'll finish the day for them 3-1. to one. I don't think they have many more games in the tier 3, but it almost feels like an inevitability that this tower is going to go down. The odd part about this is that they went for that play when there's no bots hero on the side of EG. So it's just like, what are the chances someone really wants to commit to that when they were so close to pushing a tier 3? Right. But risks are the things you got to take, I suppose. So they went for a, uh, a bold play. Jump in. Storm Spirit and Vest Bomb as well. But into the black hole. They're able to get the egg off. Also, Fly just tearing these heroes apart. Aggressive is going to go down. SRF also in trouble as he's coming back. The reincarnation is there, but already dead yet again. The Dagon, a ton of damage. Q is actually living just barely. They do lose the Spirit Breaker, but on the other side of the fight, Storm Spirit almost gets taken down. We'll manage to escape. Well, it goes into the low HP Sumail, but just not an opportunity there. The status resistance, it's maxed out at this point. It's all over right now. All over the place. G moving forward. I think that that one might have been scouted. They're being Is pinged a, a lot, so they at least know where they're going. Yeah, nothing else. Lots of pings. Walking back towards high ground. They run into everybody. They do have an A. No, the chase forward. Spearbreaker going to go down. Oh, S4. He's thinking about it. Oh, he wants it. Jump forward. Black hole on the four. They caught him all. The sun ran top of it, but they're able to break that one. The supernova follow-up. Everybody's gone. Triple kill for Sumail. Easy peasy as they all go down. GG. Man, what a freaking exclamation mark. That's how you end a game of Dota 2, right there. S4 absolutely styles <laughs> on the remains of the hopes for mixed gaming. Jeez, evil geniuses. Versus that sort of style. Uh, well, I guess along with Eon Disc. All right, Sumail as well as Fly, they are sitting in the back. They know they're the heroes that we need to get initiated on, and SRF He's jumps in forward. There. He's in the middle of everybody, roars up one right at the start. It's on the Wraith King, though. They haven't found those big team fighters as of yet. Avatos as well on to Lena, takes her down. She does get Yusef off to stay alive for the moment. A ton of damage with the egg is going to pop in just a second. It's going to stun all of these heroes from IG, but they still manage to kill off EG first. Arteezy's back again, trying to get those right clicks in. Light Striker right comes out, and they are going to be able to find two. The buyback immediately on two separate heroes, and Roshan just beat into Sumail at this point also. S4 is going down. I don't know if they can come and defend against this. With Lena gone, though, yeah, oh, they get Rosh yeah. aggressive in. Can they steal it away in time? No, they don't. Oh, Sumail, he didn't want to go in. He had the blink, but he didn't opt for it. They jump forward further. They catch the cold snap onto aggressive. He does have the Aegis, so he's coming back in just a second. SRF falling down low. He eats the cheese. No roar, though. Nowhere left to go. Aggressive needs to do absolutely everything in this fight, but with the deafening blast, they get the disarm. Q looking for the follow-up, but EG's out of there. Yeah, it looks like there will not be a chase down here. They will have to retreat back, and... Well, what just happened? The Echo... Yeah, I think ideally they need to try and hunt down this IO plus one. So if they ever separate out again, if they can blow them up and create a fight where the relocate thing isn't a factor, that's ideal. For now, they're going to be roaming on in here. They don't have any sort of a hawk active right now. Okay, there it'll be popped. Yeah, and they find crit right at the start. They also scan they on the rest of these the heroes. Roar. Okay, so they're going to blow them up with that. The rest of them, they scan, oh, able to blink away before the roar comes out, but they do find the Phoenix, and now they relocate up on the high ground, but immediately into the tornado, Sumail's got them both caught, he pops the BKB, now chasing for it for more, but a lot of this damage barrage is coming out, and Sumail, he's getting absolutely torn to shreds, he does manage to get his BKB off and ghost walk away on the south side of this fight, they've isolated Artesian, going to take him down, this is a lost cause at this point for EG, is they take down three.
That is so scary with the gyrocopter. They're ready to relocate in. They find out CC, but he blinks away. He gets out. That smoke is not going to bear fruit, at least for the first round. They might be able to find it on the second as they get the lift up there with the Yule Scepter. He does pop the blade mail, though, living for the moment. They have Aurora variable as well if they want to go for it. He is going to come back in a second, though, in the Smail. Throws out the tornado. It misses as they've been two BKB pops. The skeletons, as well as the right clicks from Smail, doing a good bit of damage. And yeah, what happened here is S4 went and canceled the relocate. So they were trying to come into this fight. Oh, they're going to show up now, though. Smail jumps forward. He doesn't get anything off at all. Look at the damage. Aggressive is tearing them all apart. Triple kill for him. And doing the taunt while he does it. Everybody's gone. Arteezy can only look on in amazement. Wow. It's really hard for him to have a good impact with the Penitence or something. It's still a strong spell because it's damage amplification, but how does he get in range where he doesn't just blow up instantaneously and make good use of it, right? Because he also wants to ensure that he stays alive to use his hand of God. Uh, and he's the Aura Carrier with the Pipe and the Vlads. Oh my goodness, they jump forward. Everything drops down aggressive down to half HP already, but he's getting healed back up. Sumail is just gone. That's into a DD gyrocopter. You are not going to have a good time, but they did manage to take away Aegis. He's dropping down low. It pops now, but so too will fly as he is gone. They come back. They buy back with Sumail as well, trying to live through this one. Crit looking as well, but he can't do anything in this fight. Side dependence, as you said. The TP away, but the light strike array connects. An aggressive mega kill streak. They only lost the Lesh. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to go for that one, but I guess they just felt too pressured, right? Like, again, we talk about how much this uh, refresh share and everything is going to matter, so. Uh, it ends up just being dissipated there. We, we just have the cheese going. Oh. Smoke up, but no egg. They pass over the refresher shards. They can use it if they want to on Phoenix. Phoenix, okay. That'll be the play then. They're trying to slow down these hits to the best of their ability. They're going to call down. Hit onto these heroes. They're looking for the perfect angle of initiation. They know that there is no BKB for only a couple more seconds. Seven, in fact, and they need to kill him in the duration of this while also getting Bobaka. They jump forward. BKB in one. He is going to have it up, and he gets it off as well if he needs to. S4 going to be caught also. They try and slow down this pressure, but with the BKB out, the chase for it. Sumail, he never stood a chance. They chase down S4 to boot. They have the egg, but it too will fall, and EG are going to be hit down as well. A 1-1 one, one series, IG bringing it back. Wow, there were some unbelievable plays this game from both sides. But I have to say, Bobica and Aggressive just... There's a lot of money that was going the way at the course. Yeah, once you get the Scotty, then it, that chase is even better. Inside of those fights with the Reflection. Some more, more they can find here as they go leading in straight away on DDC. DDC getting stunned up. FY not gonna quite be able to find him. And again, the Metamorphs is the BKB are out, sir. As that's the profit gone. Sila, big and beautiful. The sieging machine. They just it's can't the kill him. Line. This Terra Blade is way too far out of control. I don't did he uh, I don't know how they die. Like, after he's that not stop, he's eight zero to, he's got BKB, Manta, Hurricane by Scardi. He's literally not, he's not going to die this game. It really feels like Sila. Don't think he will. The Terra Blade pick was absolutely beautiful. It felt, it felt good in the draft as we said it. It was all around that Roche pit. One minute to go. The Refresher Shard. Double global. Or they could even just save for like double meta. Oh, there's the jump of BKB's out straight away from Freeze. FY tried to commit on the front line. Somnus is in as well with his own BKB. Global will come out through the BKB. Somnus starting to back away from the sideline. He's punching into him with that metamorphosis. That's going to be FY down the one. Somnus falling pretty low. They have caught Sila in the static storm. The Hex as well. Sila falls to the side. Can he get a second? He, he can. He's back up to full, but Army's on top of him once again. The stun, the control. Is it enough? Sila getting bursted down. Right clicks with Chalice. Wow. They'll finish him off again. Sila's gone for a full two minutes, pretty much. Chalice. Trying to kite out Freeze and Fade, but Freeze and Fade will find him. LGD are starting to find big kills in the fight. They are going to buy back. Mission will come out from Thunder. Mm, they gave Ame the Refresher Shard. Let's have that double in range. Chance to just insta-kill somebody with double Fury Swipe too. Or double uh, Overpower. We have it. Yeah. That double BKB coming to play. That fire she jumps in onto Yang. Yang does get forced out to the side. But playing aggressive, they get the swap back on Summers, but Summers just put the BKB there with the Hex down as well, and they'll just take the kill onto the Vens. DDC's gone. 
and they chase down another. Laguna Blade does come down onto FY, so FY will be down for 80. Kills freeze. He's going in with the BKB and the Enrage. The BKB does wear off. He's got the Refresher Shot popped. He's ready for round two as he looks towards the Terra Blade. He does get the bash, but Army falling pretty low here. He's got another Enrage. Is it enough to keep him alive? Pop the cheese back up to full. The Sprout controlling Silo as he has been silenced. The Hex to follow up. LGD with the control. Is it yeah, enough? Him. Army's in with the He's bash. Got He's got 90 seconds dead. Buyback from Yang as they are going to try and push LGG out of the base, but again, they're without Sylar. And Freeze find Arme does have the combo and will find the Ursa, but insta buyback. If he took the other yeah. enraged talent, too, so. The Abyssal has been delivered. They've got that way to get that continuous lockdown, as we've been seeing. It's been working pretty well versus Sylar between the Hex, the Bash, as well as that disruptive old piece. There we go. Somnus is in. Trying to find the opening onto Yang. Yang, of course, to the side. Just get glimpsed back. There's the swap from DDC into the Hex to Reaper's side. Can they get the kill? They can. They get Somnus. Perfect swap play for DDC. And the Arme is also in trouble as well as he's trying to back off. They've got the right clicks. They've got the chase down. Arme, he can't get out of there. He's down as well without buyback. The light strike onto FY. PGJ Thunder. They'll be able to kill him to the second time. That's three gone. And they do not have buyback available. We talked about the Silencer Hex, right? There it is. It the really was. Into the hex. And it looks like maybe he, he stepped up into the high ground where they didn't have vision of him, and then he stepped back down and got instantly swapped. Yeah. Don't think he expected to have that Insta Hex I mean, coming that, up from Silencer. That might actually be game over. They There's look no like they're running down mid. There's a I cool... think, okay, they're going towards the racks. So they'll call it. Yep, there's no glitch. They'll call it. GG, it's over. Thunder will take game one. A bit of rocky at the end of it, so it did look like LGD were able to sort of fight back and punch back, but at the end of the day, the Silar terrible. It does check out and it works out. Yeah. Very impressive stuff from uh, from Silar to bring the terrible in as I say, kill the kill the bugs. So you you don't need to really worry about them dead alive. You just want to helps worry about them just doing as much as they can. Yeah, it helps you kill people yeah. faster. The armor yeah. location quicker. Siege strong. Yeah. Sip across. There's a lot. Terrorize. Yeah, he's sort of rendered unable to do anything in response. That will mean that Reincarnate has popped again the supernova as expected. Will die, dies instantly. Yeah. They're ready to jump forward again here. Oh, they do get the swap back onto Yan. That's going to be the Aegis popped. So let's put the BKB as well. And LGD get another kill out of this. Yang immediately BKBs. BKBs. They want to chase. They want to chase. Somnus is ready to jump. f has got the control onto DDC. Somnus sips 40. Finds one. Bloodstone charge. They're in a bit of a, a tricky situation, you know, they, they have to kill the supernova to get rid of it. At the same time, they're not retreating or trying to sort of run around. Will they make it in time? It's that already. They pick up everything? They do. Somnus isn't there in time. And Somnus, let's zip out. Have to be careful, they do get the arrow down. We'll be able to take him down once, Sila. Quick swap. So no we're trying to keep Somnus safe after Somnus does get hexed. He's able to... To zip away, Freeze tries to look towards Chalice, the BKBs are out, they've got the stun onto Arme, Arme. Terrorize attempted and using an attempt to try and keep Arme safe, but it's not going to work, that's Arme dead for 110 seconds. Somnus, for Yang, though. Got the control on Yang with the burst, they found him. Somnus, can he get anything more out of this? They've got the root onto Scylla, Freeze, turning towards Somnus, Somnus still with mana in the tank to zip away. X is down onto the Weaver, but after he's used Shikuchi, so he's still got the movement speed, Freeze. And by trying to play around with him, but the buyback comes out from Fade. They have put Vichy Thunder on the back foot and actually completely closed the gold gap. It's down to zero. A 20,000, or 18,000 or 17,000 gold swing in the span of... In lane. See, a bit of an aggressive play. Sila just went straight in. He's got Refresher Shard. Let's see if they can fight around it. That's the question. Somna's still looking to take down Sila another time. He pops the BKB on the side. FY does get hexed up. The, can they kill him off in time? He's still alive for now. FY actually gets himself off the side. Finally falls. They get FY down for 90. Freeze finds X Nova as well. Buyback from FY. X Nova does not have buyback available, so he'll be unable to get back. But Freeze has fallen. Somnus just zipping around, getting the oh big kills God. on the back. That's Somnus dead for 100 seconds. Sorry, the, the Freeze dead for 100 seconds. And Somnus, he's just finding kill after kill. Arcane Double kill. Rune, regen rune on Somnus. I mean, that's four dead without buyback. It's got to be GG. Somnus is Storm Spirit stepping it up. The LGD against all odds, keeping it cool in this game, dragging it on to this point. Dude, Arcane rune, regen rune. He didn't get hit for a majority of that regen either, just zipping back and forth in the fights, dropping auto remnants the whole time. 
And they get, they're and just they're going, just going tier, tier fours. And in, I, they, they, they've done it. Yeah, they've so actually done it. Look at that, boys look and girls. Look how fast this dies. A drow strat gets crushed in 11 minutes. The opening looking to be one of the worst drow starts we've ever seen. But LGD bring it back big time and get in here to equalize in this two game series one to one. But a very, very impressive comeback from LGD that game. I think FY and Somnus for me yeah. were. It's going to be really hard to, to gap close with the, with the Shadow Blade. A little mistake could be everything. Oh, it's been. Oh, oh my gosh. Matu. You need something to throw? Almost dies there. He's still being life drained though. Unfortunately for Seb, he gets silenced up. Now the Sunstrike there as well. He won't die to that one. The Penance comes a little bit too late. Damp up the damage. And instead, it's going to be Kuro on the Chen. Brought down Seb. Still in a lot of trouble with the Blood Rage. Not going to catch him. Seb can decrypt himself and a good Fissure to block off Mind Control's chase. Instead, it's Mind Control with a BKB. He may just die here, but thankfully, Ursa shows up to save the day until Jerex pops in with an Echo Slam, blows him up, and now the buybacks can go streaming on out. Both teams want to win this fight, try and secure themselves. Roja Miracles taking out that Shaker. Matu could be next to die, as instead, it's Monkey King going in, paying with that for that with his life, and Tiny gets pushed into the Sunstrike. He's still the taking Earth? away. There's nice. the life drain to save his life. The Urn Ward's going to finish him off, if not for that one. He wants back. He wants to get GH. Instead, he's going to find Miracle up Bigger fish to fry as Thompson will bring him down with one last swipe. And that was so crucial by Seb to yeah. life train there. That was a really good play. Absolutely saves the tiny's life. And then they get all these kills in response. Position for him. And now Mind Control's got to be careful. If he gets initiated on, it's going to be a chain stun until he gets killed. The nice thing for both teams, I mean, particularly right now for Liquid, is they can very easily scout Roshan with zero risk. They just keep sending these Chen creeps in, getting this free info. If it dies, they don't really care. But it allows them to know if and when they get Roshan. Matu, he's getting Get chain stunned here, no chance to use Enrage, and that was this is where the first item Basher can get punished, is it not having a defensive item can cause you to get constantly initiated on. Thompson, though, getting ruptured here. Underneath the shrine, though, instead it's going to be out of... Oh, he pounces into the carapace, so he doesn't immediately get the kill on GH. He will still end up finding it, has the Jingu stacks now to get some good life still off, and with the Fissure stun, Anna wants to find a Boundless Strike here, won't immediately do so, has the kill for the last hit. Gets the Boundless Strike off with the help of Seb's Life Drain, getting him low. And now Miracle in full retreat. Has an Axe Scepter here on the back lines. It was Kuro dying to No Tail. Some jungler on jungler action, and they're not done. Is they're going to get Invoker as well? Five dead, Liquid a team wiped. Such a crazy action-packed game here. And sounds pretty damn nice to me. So we'll get the Sunstrike on a chant, and they're going to head over. Oh, yeah, GH in position here. As a gem, though, may not want to lose this one. EMP just to delay things here. Matu goes in with the BKB. Here's the Wukong's command. And just trying to secure this one. Who's going to pick it up? The battle for the Aegis is on. And it's Matu snatching the Aegis. That means he's going to respawn. He's going to die at least once. He's still inside this Wukong's command. And unfortunately for him, there's a refresher shot. There's a second Wukong's command. And it gets the boundless strike as he respawns. Matu is in all sorts of trouble. He's just trying to fight his way out. But he can't do so. And Liquid are melting one by one. Jerex finds Miracle with the Echo Slam. And buybacks will have to come out if Liquid want to keep themselves in this game. You get all these wards up and deny your opponents of any vision on the map. The only Radiant wards are way back on Liquid's side. OG are playing very blind around this area and that forces them to smoke out. This looks really good for Liquid unless they get a Monkey King ulti off. Immediately BKBs. There's the preemptive BKB. will force out the air on this. Nice boundless strike. Catches out Kuro but gets instantly gets bashed. And Anna, he didn't Wukong's command. He's just dying. The rupture locking him in place as well. Jerex on the back line is trying to take on GH but with the Carapace there he can't really do this and Seb Dying to the Invoker gets Hex up, brought down. He's going to have to buy back off of this one. OG just kind of not finding the teamfight initiation they were hoping for out of that smoke. And it's Liquid using that vision, using that high ground advantage perfectly. Yeah, Inco Liquid, they've got a smoke of their own. Heart of Tarras completed on the Bloodseeker, making him a great frontline, a very tanky single on 4,000 health. What Seems like gonna find? this cliff is everything here. There's the radial blast. Instantly blinking and getting the initiation, but there is gonna be a follow-up sun after the Aeon. Just they really wanna get this Pugna, but he's just gonna TP back to base. Doesn't have mana to fight. But he gets caught by the Abyssal Play. They bring down Pugna and Shaker. They're all going down, but Anna's found Invoker on the back lines. Unfortunately for him, Invoker's got buyback. Meanwhile, his teammates do not. They're getting out. Tiny's dead as well. Without That's buyback, true. 2v5. Anna may have found the good initiation onto the Invoker at back, but when he has buyback, doesn't really matter at this point, and I, this could be the end for OG. Miracle with Balls of Steel just blinks in with the Radio Blast. That was pretty sick. 
push people to low ground, even Urshikar had to run to the right and get ruptured, so they just separated everybody so well. No, tell. no chance for him to get out, and this should be the GG call coming out any second out. There's no way a Monkey King can 1v5 it, and they'll GG on out. Great way to end game number one. Man, I really thought the Butterfly was going to do more, but you know, it came down to very similar things that happened uh, from, from OG towards Liquid. It's just chain stuns once they got like hexes, and they started uh, smoke initiating a little bit better on Liquid's great stats is uh, Morphling basically, but and his uh, net worth is actually not great either. Having a little trouble, picks up a Dragon Lance first. Um, he's actually seeing very strength morph this game. Every surprisingly, he's going strength for the like stun initiation. Then you, I mean, if you click him now, it's just like he goes from full strength to full agi in like no time at all. And uh, very dead hero. Yeah, ran into a tough situation there with the rupture. Shadow Blade not quite working how he intended. Jerex will get out of the blood right here as here comes Thompson from behind. Coming on in with the Morphling, turns into the Nyx Assassin, Carapace is there, and a Snowball save as well. Nice defensive plays coming out from OG. Topson gonna turn and fight once, Mind Control, can he get the kill? He needs one more right click, it's gonna come. As No-Tail gets the kill for him, on the backside, Klinks was trying to bring down Seb, but instead he gets Duke the Blast, not gonna land, luckily. Well, that would've got him very, very low. The Shrine coming out as well. Jerex gets the high shots off just before he dies. Sebi decrypts, he dodges Kuro, and now the live drink may just bring down the clicks. Oh, he's alive, he's 5 live. HP. Thompson, though, with the creeps. It's actually Chen. No tail with a triple kill from the grave. He's finding all these kills. His entire creep army, it's on a, it's on a sliver of health. It's gonna get out of there. No tail bails it out. Says, come hither, my creeps. You've done well. You've got me three kills. Gonna be fairly vulnerable to these rotations, and as the as the prophet, you often don't want to be with your team in these scenarios. Jarek's looking for a miracle here. He could get oh a... This, my that's God. a great shot, but he needs backup. Where is the rest of his team? It's Anna on the high ground, blinks on and over. Buyback immediately from Maju. Great ghost ship, gonna buy some time here from the high ground, though. Here comes the rest of Liquid. Impale gonna follow up the Yule Scepter, and it's gonna be Miracle in some trouble on the Kunker. Topson wants him, he's stolen the Nyx Assassin form. Can he land some of these spells? Goes back to the Morphling. Topson mantisiles himself away, back to the Nyx. Once again, has an Impale in a couple of seconds. They get stunned first himself, carapaces it in some nice fashion here. He's gonna stun the GH and he carapaces it. They're just back and forth, stun on stun. Topson gets brought down in the end and OG get team wiped. And on the high ground is mind control. I mean, it was oh, such boy. a great catch, but he got his boat off, he's got like 2,500 HP and a halberd. It took so much to try to kill him. And then just all of a sudden, Bloodseeker shows up, gets a blood right on everybody. Now, the game just got thrown on its head against OG. Yeah. The halberd pickup, it's something I feel like I've seen Miracle do a lot just because all the stats you get from it, it's so amazing. Damage, strength, evasion. Dude, look at this OG. kill. Yeah, they're not done yet. The blood raged up, Morphling, Thompson. Trying to hold the high ground here. They've already lost the melee rack, so Thompson has to be very, very careful. He just pulled back. If he dies here, he's in so much trouble. He gets stunned immediately. He tried to morph back and then wave form out, but Nyx Assassin was ready for it. The dieback will probably lead to more damage being dealt. They don't go for the mid racks here with the Pugna. May deter that, but they're going to go for the kills. The stun into Blood Right. Seb. Oh my god, that damage with the mana burn here. Anna's trying to save the day. He's killed up absolutely nobody yet. They're so low though, he can't kill anybody. Everybody has like they're, no HP left. They're outplaying them so hard. Oh, and Chen wastes his ultimate as well, just respawning oh. now. Man, every B burst heavy would have been better. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. GH runs into Anna, but he's just trying to help secure Roche for his team. As a gem, needs to be careful as Jarek gets in the Roche and hit a little bit too late. The ghost ship with the rupture, both landing on top of Anna's stony head. As the. the
Gonna use it. Ogre Frost Mage helping the bear out here. Look at this, does nothing with the Solo Crest. The tower is worthless. 31 armor after the talent as well as oh, that ice armor. that bear, go ahead. Fear, <laughs> it ain't happening. Again, the Terrorize, they're able to find the stun, not bad, a Shackle on a 2 as well, they managed to get it, but DJ jumps in, magnetizes, will have the Silent Stun on a 2, Silar has no backup at this point, they're trying to blow up one, but DJ's still living through it, Freeze jumps in, gets the Mantle off to take away the full combo coming out from the Magnetize, but DJ still lives through it all, and the buyback's galore, but they still haven't solved the Fnatic problem. Yeah, everyone is still here, plenty of Spear Vessel charges to go around, Pops 1 still has 3 remaining, and they're back on the high ground. Just excellent combo breaking move there from DJ. Assault Care Ass is done for Visage as well. Yang is so important. They need that Blink Shackle. Silent just has no control. And this time around, Terrorize not going to be used as they find the stun from DJ. They split the uprights of the barracks. They get the kill with the silence. In the Shadow Realm. She just died. Bring the mana of the bear. Curse Crown to follow that as well. Got so much damage coming in from the familiars. Yang just doesn't have an answer. And they do jump forward onto one, but the Winter's Curse pulls him back in. And, well, there's going to be the combo that you needed out of your Earth Spirit. Silar trying to run through and get away. The rest of BTJ taking the damage over time. Alchemist also soon to be in trouble as he is completely isolated and going to die. He does have buyback. You hate to see it. But he has to use it, and now they roll forward for more. They take down Fade. He buys back as well. Everybody's back alive, but they don't have the majority of their ultimates. Envy wants those Mega Creeps. He's in there with the birds. And they're going to micro that away. Break this. A nice stomp there, too, just to slow them down. Save these birds. They're taking him down. Yang almost dead. Does manage to barely escape. But they are Mega, and DDC throws out the finger. It's not even enough to kill off Abed. Guess what? Gravekeeper's Cloak is a pretty good ability. And now the jump away again. Yang just wants to kill off DJ. He's been a thorn in his side all game long, but they're not going to be able to do it. And GG is called Fnatic winning game number one. All right, excellently played. I I wasn't that confident in their, their super push strap. I thought maybe there'd be a chance for them to hold on uh, with the Earth and everything, but they just, even though Envy had a really rough start, like he was by far the poorest core on their team. DJ with the quick fingers. And now they're in kind of an awkward spot. They have the Soul Chikuchi. Very valuable. DDC trying to find a big play with a lift. Got to be careful, though. The time lapse gets the Weaver away from Yang before they can find the kill. DJ kills off DDC and now looking for more. They can still turn with the Reaper Sight, but the long duration silence on Yang. The turnaround, can they kill him off? It's only the Aegis. Freeze now also found. They don't bring down Abed. They don't think they're going to bring down NB yet. At least, oh, wait, no, the turnaround. Oh, the with the Winter's Curse! They turn it! He is still caught there, but the Shackle 2 bursts as well. They're destroying him, DJ! Have mercy, my man! And Universe just, running! He's just walking through these fights now. Universe went a little bit too deep after losing that Aegis. Oh no, but DJ is here looking for the shackles. Has he gone too far? The absolute bad man. He kills off DDC, a triple kill. Oh, give him the taunt, baby. For the support. That's a, that's the second triple kill of the game. Is he not done? He, he's thinking about it, oh, but with Fade done. coming back in, all right, he's back. Oh, he just I'll go getting towards that Lincoln Sphere. Also level 20 talent, which can be nifty. Silar. Very far forward, away from the rest of his team, but Yang moving in behind. They have the Purge to follow it up as well, as it can be used onto Yang if he uses that Ghost Shroud. Already slowing him, but they kill off the Helm of the Dominator Creep. Silar right. jumps forward, finds Pylai Die. I don't know if that's really where you want to be. The Winner's Curse to turn it back around. They're isolating the rest of these targets. A long duration silence, and he walks into the taunt. Fade not dead because of it, though, as Silar starting to fall down. Now Universe going to town, seeing if he can kill off any of these heroes. The time lapse what back. Shackle. Great play, and the Shackle onto two is going to keep them controlled, but he does get the Ghost Shroud out. They need to find the stuns follow up, but the silence onto those birds as well for the moment because of the Blood Right. They can get it the second time through free. Pops his BKB now trying to chase. Rooted for the moment is Envy. They try and kill him up, but it's not quite enough damage with the Reaper Scythe. And instead, it is going to be BCJ Thunder running away, licking their wounds. DDC, they're still the tier two in the mid lane. And so a pick off on DDC would have been devastating. He would have had to use his buyback, and that would slow down his uh, Blink Dagger by another 400 gold. Yeah. Tier three tower being assaulted. Jarwar was just popped, so. 
Those they birds. would like to get the most use out of this possible. Shackle, Yang, they're focusing the tower though. It just drops so quickly. When that draw, oh, look at the damage on Yang! He didn't stand a chance. Now Silar turned upon as well. They popped the Thunder God's Wrath, but it's not nearly enough damage. And with the Arctic Burn coming in, that's one life from Silar. Can they find him a second time though? They have the Silence out as well, but it's a three person stun from Abed. DDC is gone. See you later, bro. As they chase down and find the Shackle onto the creep that was already dead in the grave. Nothing is going to save you from DJ as they take down that tier 3 tower. I can take. Can anybody even touch Eternal Envy and turn off this aura? The answer is no. Hey, it's just going. He's just back here like, okay, you guys got this? I would love to keep giving you a stupid amount of damage. You know, adding 100 damage to Catapult is pretty nice. And the melee barracks is down as they do get the Cold Embrace. Abed living through it for the moment. A lot of damage coming out as they find themselves another kill. The Winter's Curse is there as well. They're going to have the follow-up stun. Rupture, please, is another. Shackle is there. The 5 axe BGJ Thunder cannot handle the pressure. And GG is called. Third pick, Drow. And an excellent draft. BGJ Thunder not able to find answers whatsoever. I don't think they had a very solid game plan against the strategy. I don't really like the heroes they went for. I guess it was just a riskier cho uh, choice, right? Like, they had to dominate these lanes, and this Bloodseeker had to have a, uh, a real sort of game, and DJ. And all of a sudden, this is what we said, Liquid can just sometimes have these random fights. FY was so far away from the rest of his team, but that just looked too good. For him to jump on Ame, has the BKB, he goes straight for Curl. Couldn't actually kill him, they had to actually have the heal come out. Ame, oh, he's GX. trapped. Now Ame's dead. Ben's gonna three-man Fisher, a little bit more damage. He's walking himself away, he gets out with a freezing Phoenix. Ex Nova, Ex Nova, let it go, baby! Yule Scepter onto his Miracle. They're gonna stall it's still in the as air. long as possible. He still managed to get the stun off the LSA, come down. Miracle is dead. What? Maybe not? A little bit of armor toggle? Can he actually do something? There's too many stuns. That's a five man wipe. Chalice with the ultra kill. An emphatic win in that team fight. Ame barely survives. And especially with that global sound still on cooldown for another 45 seconds. They want to end this game right now. Shadow Blade forward. Just hoping someone pokes their head out a little bit too far. They see Miracle. They're going to blow him up. They get him. He does have a buyback. Ame with the BKB tries to go for mind control next. They're going to wait for the BKB to wear out. Ame's considerably slowed right now. The there buyback. goes the buyback. Ame is super slow. He can't really get anywhere with the uh, rupture and all that poison on him. Looks like they should be able to bring him down. Miracle still hoping to be able to get the kill on him. Maybe a long range jump onto him. But now stunned up by FY. LSA hits him as well. That's a dieback from him. X Nova. And Chalice is still going strong with X Nova right next He's to him. Up your with retreat. the freezing field. Matumba Man turns around, goes for the poison Nova, but they don't have any course left. It's going to be all poison damage to try and finish up the rest of PSG LGD and it might have gotten X Nova he will die but both FY and Chalice hold strong they do a buyback they're going to use it now, but it may be a little bit late. FY's already struck. He managed to kill GH. Matamba Man. Echo Slam onto him. GH with a buyback is going to be able to keep Matamba Man alive. Both FY and Chalice have dove deep behind the tier 3 towers, and Chalice will simply go for a TP out. Yeah. All through. This is the games. These are the games that test you. LGD is potentially a team that you'll see later on in the tournament. Ame. He's sneaking in. He's going to try and go for the Megas. TP back, mind control. They need you to can be able stop to it. That TP. Global Silence, they're going to have to fight up in the top lane. They're trying to go for GH, but Miracle's fighting out with maybe. Maybe he's going to try and limp himself away with the Burning Spirits. So Dardy killed him. GH finally Look goes down. Bottom, and though. ends up going down. Bottom and bottom. Ame, he's taking the full Somebody lane of Rax. Nobody's going to be able to stop this. Finally, the backdoor protection, or rather, the Glyph comes in. The TPs are coming out. Ame, he's going to commit it with the BKB. They need the Bash. My control, get the Bash. He doesn't get it. TP out. Bash! Bash! He Got gets him. it finally, but it is now against the Huskar's got one too. A bash on Miracle, the ranged basher. He played a make. Yeah, I mean it works both ways. Miracle. He is blood raged, has burning spear, pure damage. Okay, he's so got GH. a wish behind him. He can come back in. And tough to take out sight. Immediately put onto Ame. They try and go for the Lotus Sword. Bounce back. Oh, that's a light break. Yeah, and a bash onto himself. Oh no! Miracle's gonna be sold up for a moment, but GH is keeping him alive. And look at the heal coming out. Visa. The pure damage onto Ame will finish him off. That is a dieback. He's dead no. for two minutes. LGD. They surely aren't gonna lose. They're just like gonna this. go for the throne. 
kill tier three, go straight for the tier fours in LGD. They have to the battle it out. Back from the it's, wisp. it's gonna be four versus four. He has to relocate though. They've already blown up Mike with a good bait, a little bit more damage. They managed to get the crit. A buyback coming out. X Nova, Ghost Scepter in, Echo Slam down. They've taken out Miracle. People he is are dead on the Husguard, but he has the buyback. Mantum Man's dead as well. Liquid are gonna be forced into mass buybacks now as they have to defend their throne as well. Kuro hit by the Fisher. FY slows them up the enchant totem. He will fall. And Matumba Man now suddenly isolated out, gets the blink though, just in front of FY. And all buybacks used by Liquid. They can the deal with the waves. Back in. GH and Miracle, they go back into this fight. They're gonna go for X Nova. The Ghost Scepter keeps himself alive. They're going for GH first. There's GH too much range right now. He's trying to stay close range of Chalice, but Chalice with a pure damage. Now knocking away Miracle. Miracle, he has a Satanic trying to heal himself without the Wisp, and he might just be able to do it too. Wisp. Dropping lower and lower. Chalice is going to end up with the poison on him. He ends up going down. Mind Control has fast. a lot of thirst. He's going to be able to go for X Nova. Frostbitten up. Doesn't seem to matter. X Nova may still die. FY with a beautiful Fisher now jumped in on Miracle. Mind Control, he ends up going down. And over the LSA on gone. a two. They're both dead. That is four dead from Liquid. No buyback. Kuro, the captain, is left against Megas. That is going to be it. LGD finally Ooh. get the win over Liquid. Ah, oh, that's some Dota. Liquid, they saw their opening, but Chalice does so much damage. They did such a good job with the spacing too. You have to point out how maybe played that fight. He utilized the max range at all times, just stayed back, got stun after stun. Once the BKB started to run low on the side of Liquid, not a whole lot of steam left, but they kept it close. I thought that game was, I mean, it said 99%. Feed off of the Ancient to try and get his HP a little there. Chalice alone here in the top lane. Liquid are a trio. Relocate to bottom lane, actually. They're going to try and catch FY, who is going for some sort of defense of this tower. TP in from Chalice almost catches Miracle. Miracle, who is out of leap charges, but does have the helping end once again of GH. Chalice now has to fight through the Brewmaster Spirits, and that's going to be tough to do, He's especially with up. the tables of Kuro. He's he arrowed. is going to no, know that Sunder from Ame managed to get the save. Was this but will he blow for this out? No, he still goes down. Mind Control ends up getting him with the clap. Chalice, he wants revenge, but Mind Control is just going to be able to TP who away. Have they have no stuns. PSG LGD may have gotten the deny on their off lane tower, but they lose it. Terrible blade over to mid lane. The Broodmother dies to maybe to defend their bases. I mean, if I'm Matsu, I probably just hit this high ground. You're not that afraid. The nice thing about Matsu's build too is that if you don't go for the super early BKB, you're not all in. Like the timing for Brood still exists past this. Right. Because oftentimes when you go for this early BKB, if you don't immediately win the next like two, three fights, it, the game just sort of ends as swap back into the air. Oh, he's just gone. combination. Now the vengeful spirit dies, but maybe uses whole combination to be able to get that kill. He can't afford to die here. Back to the tier four, stunned up. They can't stop him. Master Earth Panda, he goes down. X Nova, he's gets swallowed up by the many heroes of Liquid. A tier three down and buybacks. But Ame, look at him. Ame is just going straight. He's already killed the tier three. Miracle and GH. So they're going to try and fight this out. Ame does have a Sunder. Doesn't get a chance to be able to pop it. Back over to the mid lane. The melee racks is still alive. They they're going to come back though. Back in. Now the jump in by Mind Control. It's going to go for the kill on FY. Leaves it for Matumba Man. Miracle. It's Nova. He's just dead again. The stun onto the Phoenix. He's dead again. Neither time did he get off the Supernova. Every hero from everyone from LGD is buying back right now. The final push coming in from Liquid. All they need is one lane of racks. LGD got to win like several fights in a row. And they're already losing damage on this tier three. They got to take Swap the fight out. On FY. Tried to go for the arrow this time. They do miss. And they pop the metamorphosis with the supernova as well. Good avalanche. Stun onto okay. several. Maybe they can kill the brewmaster before the gold, but he gets it off. Now, whoa, a toss up in the air as he tries to dive on through. X Nova gets his dive canceled. I lied. And as a result, man's a he god. Is, they're just screwed. They're all dead. Dude, no one's living through Swap this. back. Ame is going to be brought down from his tornado. Managed to pop the manta. Still going to die. Calls a GG. And that will be LGD versus Liquid. Game yeah. one, it went the distance, but game two. Spider Man is a good hero. Yeah. And hero's great, and it's scale. It's got the level 25. They dive the bristle, they reload, and then you have Sumel there ready to blink in with the stun counter initiate, because he will just kill the wisp by himself. Ooh. I also love his build, maxing the stun before four points Q. And look at this, here we go though, gonna take a ton of damage. Ninja Boogie's gonna run in from the other side. Here comes the relocate from the IO though. Aww. Nice silence from crit, will it be enough to save anyone? Doesn't look like it yet, and oh, they do end up getting ice, ice, ice. On the backside, Ninja Boogie 
will get it re put on, but Grit is trying to go in. S4 will end up getting them, and this is just a bloodbath. This is a three for two Ninja Boogie as well. Might go down, 30 HP fly, one second. Oh, he <gasps> goes the other way, it's nighttime. S4 knows now, oh, does he have a, will he use it? And, and it's enough. Meanwhile, Weaver's just farming bottom too. Yep. How, was that just crit? Was that three man silence that was, out of reload? That was just, all the other game changer. Crit. Yep. Clinks just both feel like they don't have a purpose at the moment. I'm not really sure how they would uh, change their game. Oh, I don't look at this. Are they going to find the timber? The Spear Vessel does go on him. The bug still stays on even the Yules. Now they get the stun up while he timber changed. He does get swapped back if they can bring him down. Doesn't look like he can. Ninja Boogie doing his damnedest to do it, but Ninja Boogie will die. So will the timber. Now Sumail, he doesn't have the age. He does have the age, pardon me, and he's going to be fine just diving on the backside. Mushi's trying to do damage to anyone, but no one's going to die except maybe the Aegis of Sumail. He had an Arcane Rune during that ult. Yeah. So it's still 15 seconds, though. He has Blink Dagger. Oh, the bugs go in just to try to scare him out. Sumail will just run through it. Spear Vessel gets put on someone on the backside. Now, uh oh. Timbersaw is in, uh, I believe he's in the, the wrong neighborhood. A, I think he called a pickle. Yeah, he is in a dill. Dude, he's sure. a cucumber at this point. Wow. Yeah. What's is the only difference? It's Vaniger. Yeah. How could you go from a pickle back to cucumber? <laughs> Look, let's not make okay, it. Back. We're, we're okay, we're going to on the aisle as we mentioned with yep. the blink stun. Nice yeah. double stun by Crit again. Hits Moon, hits Jeff. They try to bring him down. Mushi's going to die as well. Moon is doing a lot Sumail's of damage, alive. but not enough. And yep, oh. Sumail is alive. And he has the Octarine as well. This, it's not game yet, obviously, but this could be two sets of racks. Too long. You're going to lose your base. Yep. As you said, because just the creeps are pushing in middle and top now because yep. they're forced to defend bottom. And, and Clinks is not at base. Yep, he needs to see the creep. He's waiting one second. Pop it. I guess that's Pop. what they're waiting for. There we go. Yep, and there He's it is. He's keeping in. And here we go. They're already in on this side. This F4 is taking a ton of damage right now. The Blade Blade Weaver. Oh, and my back. God. And what a play. Arteezy with that axe helps S4 get out of the base. And now they're running forward. Here comes the stun. Possibly, yes, it hits two up there. Mushi not doing as much damage anymore, but still does a decent chunk. Sumail does end up dying, but the Scotty from Arteezy recently. Oh, right he has here. a right here too. And he does. He is just doing insane amounts of damage. That's a dieback from Mushi. And Jab, he will not make it out. Fly with the freeze. And now Arteezy, though. Be careful, he has the Aegis, he has his ulti as well, doesn't even get much HP, but better positioning. Stun flies from Ninja, he pops the Aegis, but he will die as well. And well, we see the what? gifted Ag. Does anybody else what remember when Sumail bought that 6th, 7th item blade yeah. mail on Alk against the Sniper Rapier? It was Legend. And he killed the sniper almost instantly. That, I, uh, he put a blade mail in his inventory. They have three blade mails. Yeah. I, you're giving credit to me. The CM and Earth Spirit. No, CM right? didn't have one. He did. There's Earth Spirit. They're giving him vision. They finally get it dewarded, but. It's I just love this gym pickup. On, it's just a five on five right now, up top right now. This is. This is a little nerve wracking. I don't think EG can take fights if they don't have wards and traps. I thought they learned their lesson. This is not the right area uh -oh. of the map. Wave of Terror swap, possibly. There's going to be a ward. He does swap back. Does he have to heal? It is healing him a little. Will it be enough? Egg gets popped. They still didn't kill him now. As Fortnite's down, Moon's dead in the backside, though. In comes the rolling Pango doing so much. There goes Diego. It's so wow. close to going off, but it won't. Arteezy gets a kill as well. It's a three for two right now. Make it a four. For two and Arteezy is dusted up currently. Does blink away. Do we have any stuns? We do not. And as simple as that, the if the egg explodes there, maybe, but, but it dips and That's butts, the Marana that I mentioned yeah. in the draft. Like, he... You do not want to be sucked into this engagement. Ooh. You want a very long, drawn-out fight that's more of multiple skirmishes. Buybacks are really important here. Uh, Phoenix has one, so if they yeah. jump the Phoenix, I'm pretty Shadows. sure Maneski just loses the fight. Shadows are going to take us right now, and here we go. Level 18 on that egg. Rolling it up. And here we go. They are going to roll it up. And he's up there. They're actually going for the team, but there we go. It's two dragged in. Oh. Egg is there. It is a nice swap out. Won't matter. Mushi's dead. Everyone is seeming to die, including Sumail. The gem will get picked up on the backside by Ninja Boogie. He's just going to die as well, and this is looking to be almost a full team one. Minus S4 did so ice, much ice, damage ice. there. How much damage did S4 do? The two Roches die before the dire tier one mid. That's actually nuts. That's yeah. I mean, you get the point. I I, That's said, a pecan. I love the TA. Arteezy's going straight for the hex. No hurricane pike. He's just gonna blink hex and pick off players. Also, th to be noted, usually, right, Storm is one of the best. Oh, be the they get him big yeah. stun right there. That's an easy kill, but he does have the Aegis, no, but not roll Storm. Up. You can't BKB on top. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, he can't blink. He, he, can't blink. he oh. is going to get the refraction. He is going to be able to blink. And now on the backside, look at this damage coming out from the impetus. But will it be enough? They're trying to chase Ice 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 down. Egg's going to fly. They have to get out of there. No, Mushi's going to try to kill it, I believe. Oh but Ninja Wing's dead. Fly goes down, but now they're in a Bye bad backs. position. Moon trying to die, but Sumail doesn't really do any damage. And there's the buybacks. They're keeping into the 
here too. Laguna goes, arrow flies, storm will drop. The gem down. That is their gem, like you said. Now S4, he is gonna get picked off as well. We don't no have beginning. any more stuns yet. He's just gonna run. Traps are here, possibly slowing him down. Torrent, nicely done. And now Ice 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 gets pulled back. But look at this, Mushi getting right clicked by S4. And look who else came back, it's Sumail. And he's ready to go. Ice 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 is flying away. But S4, as BSJ has been saying, is outputting insane yep. amounts of damage. And I'm done for a full four seconds. Yep. And most likely able go. to go down. You can see. So he dies here. Now, if you're ice, I, I feel like watch. look at the positioning of TA now. It did just he, yeah, he's going. Yeah. He can roll on top of him though. He goes for the back yeah, line. Now the TA to... blinks away, and all of a sudden the fight is completely over because the TA has spawned right in the middle oh, of your three switching here. Laguna comes out. That is a lot of pure damage. Oh, Chandra gets the heal off. Torn both will destroy them instantly. The pull it now by Sumail Arkezi is godlike on the side lane. TA two buybacks coming. Arrow will hit TA. This should possibly kill. Does Sumail have another pull? Not quite yet. BKB popped by Arkezi. They're just chasing down Mushu without S4 though. No gem on Storm anymore. Yep. Not much damage either. Obviously the Storm does nothing without his overload hits. But now they find the Weaver. Is it enough damage? It sure is. She plus Torrent. Moon buys back. Oh, the arrow's actually going to whip because of the Yules, and now the four staff away, and this is all things are coming up EG currently. Lena, EG's the one dictating what happens next in this game. Y'all remember what the, is it F7 for the graphs? I'm nervous to hit it now. Know. I wouldn't hit any buttons. Yeah, I'm not hitting any buttons. But it is, obviously, Minescu is up by about As 10k, and now look at this, yeah. BKB will just force staff instead. We'll have BKB on the backside, though. Aww. Sumail's going in, gets some pulls. Impetus is just flying out. Ninja Boogie will die. Sumail, Yule's on the backside. Moon on himself. The Impetus damage will be enough, though. Destroys him, and now we're going to see a Torrent coming out. Won't hit anyone. Both Phoenix won't hit anyone, but it won't matter. And yeah, Jeff. He's like, I gotta make something happen, but Fly should be able to get his egg up. They should maybe be able to bring it down. Any leaps? They do have leaps. Will they need it? He didn't oh, leap. He leaps no, away. No. And now, oh, he tried to get to high ground. Pangalier. Pangalier will die as well, and there's no buybacks. Is that just game? Yep, that's game. Nobody has buybacks. Good GG. game. Just wow. What a. What a crazy, yeah, it was. It was just Maneski dominating the game. Sumail makes a strange item decision from our, like, perspective. It works out. It, but Moon makes a strange item decision as well. It doesn't work out. And EG, 2 the, zeros the other leader of the group. I would say that it's a round. Brings more people home. And I'm, I'm always going to find those he has to commit. Keep aggressive off this tower. Actually, it's so they can jump in. XSS blinks forward, gets a stun over an iceberg. Familiar chaining some once again. Go shroud this time from iceberg, able to come off, and he's got 21 charges available. The arrow flies forward, but it only soaks up one of the minions. Now iceberg in more and more trouble for familiar. It blocks him off. Aggressive and XSS. XSS will stay with him. Iceberg. Damn, this guy's got so much regeneration. But then again, the shadow poison sacks. It got bigger. No fear can hit the echo slam. Good damage into the back lines. Help silent get the kill onto XSS. But now Bobica wants a piece of the pie too. The stun from no fear. The space couldn't be created. That battery assault was able to move around No Grata and connect over into No Fear. Hence the kill. Arrow SD will not connect properly. That's why SRF in the back lines looking for Silent No Grata working with these Necrobook units, even though Lycan, well, where is he? He's still trying to actually, no, he's going to turn back into the fight. Aggressive for Q underneath the tier 2 tower. Maybe is enough to give up the ghost. Chase down the familiars instead and get those kills. Missing our pill doesn't help though. Oh. For any initiation and in Invictus Gaming. Someone rocks the boat! That's a full mid racks, but it's more than that. They push so hard when they have the like and when they have such a lineup. They can look to take the tier 3 tower up on top. Bobica's trying to create a little bit more space. That one spirit vessel, but they shut him down. Echo slam into the follow up stun. Clockwork will buy back. He's got hook shot available. Iceberg was pretty low for a bit. X time lapse. Alright, that'll be one way to do it. That's uh, that's one way to give him all the life back again. I was wondering why he had that ability. I thought Morpling was back on the field. Bobica, oh, he can't even survive. It's a dieback for Invictus Gaming Clockwork. But bottom lane, SRF is pushing in hard. The Fissure is out. Don't think there's much of a defense from No Fear. He needs support to actually hold this bottom lane of Rax. But Aghanims will arrive. Jump in, he goes after the set of Banisher. Meanwhile, they're going back in on top. Aggressive will die underneath this Rax. XSS will join him as well. One buyback comes in from the Marana. One's not available from the DK, however. And No Fear just seems to be tasked with holding back the Visage, who claims the bottom melee Rax. But the cost is still high. But it's at least the best they can get. Chrono. That yep. is a really big issue. He's got Lincoln's fear to protect him. They can't get true true hit now because he's got Radiance too. 
And well, IG, is this your moment? Look to jump in from the side at the same time. Look for that ES position as IG are so clustered up. No fear, you know he wants to jump, and now in he goes. He gets stunned up, they'll control him. Bobica, even with the hook shot, they're just isolating up this ES. Now he goes back in again. The scythe will drop, space created, stunned into the Visage. They'll burn through him, and this is the game. Four heroes without a buyback. GG indeed. Windstrike doing it in 32 minutes. Very, very solid performance. Yeah, this game from the in the beginning looked like IG were in a good position, but this is what happens in a lot of Lycan games. Lycan gets off to a great start with far extra one, and yeah, they're coming back for XSS. They're gonna make the move. So when this game started, I said it's really important for IG that their lanes that they don't get crushed with this Rubik Shadow Shaman support duo, and I think it went beyond expectation this early laning stage. So now. They're hitting this timing where oh, they have the Wraith King Blink Dagger. He ran in. They centering. They got the Hex off shocked as well as Scythe. See ya. The Gust will get onto three, but look at him run forward. Aggressive. He wants a piece of this. Moonlight Shadow's out, but the Sentry Ward is there. That's why Aggressive still very visible. Swaps him onto the Silent, which actually cancels the aura for half a second. Weaver will buy back, looking to continue to be part of this fight. As XSS begins his TP out. Is there a stun? Yeah, there is. And the Gust over on two. Iceberg took so much damage from this, but Silent just stood his ground most of the time. As Nongrada is battling the rest of Invictus Gaming on the right side, is SRF totally isolated. And what a team fight for Windstrike. Nongrada cannot keep up with Rubik. Because one, he's undying, and two, he's got Shikuchi. Fend. But now he doesn't have them for the fight. It kind of matters, actually. Like, that was seven skeletons that he can't bring to the fight now. Can he's gonna try. definitely make a difference. Always want to fly, breaks the smoke, Wraith King looking for the target. As undying starts with an earlier decay. Sentry wards are down. Now, Tombstone into the ultimate, and Necro quickly silenced up. SRF will lose his mana. He has his secondary life, however, but XSS being isolated in the in the back lines, and they want to bring him down. And Grada can do that almost by himself. And Invictus Gaming, this fight did not look good from the start. They found even Radiant Sentry. What did Baboka get? Uh, okay, that took a while to reach him, but he, he, he stole Gust. Nice arrow, five seconds on Iceberg, they forced half him away, and this drags SRF even further back, and they got perfectly hit by the Swarm, and still didn't get the kill on Iceberg! The Scythe was there, but he was 20% after the Scythe! Buybacks that have to come thick and fast, because Aggressive is getting ripped apart. Dro Ranger, the Agency Mortar will break, but with the Cold Snap out, it's a triple kill for Iceberg. This Invoker is going ham! Yes, something. <laughs> I denied all my items. I don't know how it happened. Ask KYXY. I wonder what would happen to the win percentage if he just broke all his items, actually. <laughs> what it would say. That would be... Do it for science. Yeah. I denied for science! <laughs> Drone range is buffed up again, my Their god. Their advantage it's is more than Now your pull. jump comes in. The swap and sight is still not enough. It's the Weaver they aim for. He'll do self. Time lapse back out. Goodbye, Necro. Goodbye, Raid King. That's the second life of his. And really, goodbye, Invictus Gaming. They've lost three heroes. GG is the call. And win strike. They didn't have a good start for today. But they end beautifully with a 2 0. Wow, indeed, LD. <laughs> so that will now put IG on.